The water's been so high and cold for so long that it's delayed a lot of the hatches, but the green drakes are finally here. Hi, I'm Mickey Anderson from Fish Tech with this week's fishing report. Green drakes live in faster water and they emerge on the bottom. They come out of the shuck with a bubble around their wings, float to the surface. When they hit the surface, that bubble pops and the wings spring out. They float just a short distance before they fly off. The unfortunate thing is birds are gonna pick them off. So you can tell where the hatch is by where the birds are. Here's the patterns you wanna use. When I start the day, I'll start with a good heavy nymph like one of these and just keep it down on bottom. As the day moves on, I'm going to add a second fly and put a little emerger fly as my upper fly. Day goes on a little longer, I'm then going to go to a high floating dry fly and this emerger is still going to be below it. Once a lot of insects are on the water, then I'm going to go to a floating emerger like one of these. This is more, looks more like a cripple pattern. And if I'm fishing in fast water, I'm gonna use a high floating fly like this. If I'm fishing in a little bit slower water, I'll use a pattern that looks a little more realistic like one of these. Hey, for these green drake flies or anything else in the store, come on down to Fish Tech, we'll help you out. And now for tonight's fishing line.